Use Cramer's rule to solve the system of equations 3x plus 7 equals 12 and 9x minus 6y equals 4. Notice that our equations of 3x plus 7y equals 12 and 9x minus 6y equals 4 take the form of a linear system. That means that they're the exact same thing as a matrix multiplication. The matrix 3, 7, 9, minus 6 times the vector x, y is equal to the vector 12, 4. And that means that this is ready for Cramer's rule. Cramer's rule says that the x component is going to be equal to the determinant of the coefficient matrix with the first row replaced by the final column, that is the determinant of 12, 4 in the first column, 7 minus 6, divided by the determinant of the coefficient matrix unchanged. And that the y value should be a similar ratio of determinants. The top determinant is going to be the determinant of the coefficient matrix but with the second column replaced by the final column. That is the determinant of the matrix 3, 9 in the first column and 12, 4 in the second column. And then we're going to divide again by the matrix of the coefficient matrix unchanged. Let's just work these out now. We're going to see that x is equal to, across the top, we're going to have 12 times minus 6, which is minus 72, minus 28. And along the bottom, we're going to have negative 18, minus 63. So if we clean these two fractions, or clean the numerator and denominator up, we see we have negative 100 in the numerator and negative 80 firsts in the denominator. And that can be simplified to x equals 180 firsts. On the other hand, we have y is equal to the top determinant. We have 12 minus 9 times 12, which is 108 on the top, and in the bottom we should still have minus 18, minus 63, or minus 81. Upstairs, if we take 12 minus 108, we obtain negative 96. And so we can clean that up to 96, 180, or 96 80 firsts as our value for y. And thus, we have the answers x equals 180 firsts, and y equals 96 80 firsts. If you'd like to write it as a vector, we could actually factor that 180 firsts out and write it as the vector xy is equal to 180 first times the vector 196. And that's another equally valid way of writing the answer.